up to 20 states are sending out stimulus checks to their residents this year. Hey, what is up YouTube? Happy Friday. Today is Friday. I hope you're making big plans for the weekend just to enjoy the time off, just to enjoy the weekend, maybe spend time with friends and family. On this channel, we're talking about politics. We're talking about things that are happening in this country. We're also talking about stimulus checks and how everybody needs to get paid. Why? Because everybody could use some extra money. Guys, welcome back to another show. And we've got some very exciting news just because we told you that we would keep you up to date on all the states that are actually offering stimulus checks to their residents. Now, many of you want to know, when is it going to hit my bank account? Account, when is it coming and the plan based off this information says that it will come this year now some are set in stone like California they're trying to get things out by October you've got some states like Maine that have already started sending them out but we're gonna dive deep into this information to show you guys on the screen everything that is going on. If you wanna stay up to date on all the news and things that are happening, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on that notification bell. And guys, we know that you need stimulus checks and if you're a big fan and you think you need it, this smash that like button. On this channel, we're giving away $250 to two lucky subscribers, but you have to be subscribed to get in on that. And while we're waiting for this channel to hit 70,000 subscribers, which we're getting closer every day, we are offering a $100 Visa gift card for one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is smash that like button and comment the word Visa gift card and we'll be giving that out next week. Guys, we are so appreciative that you joined this channel, that you're watching. We love the comments and the support. So let's bring you the information that you came for. Let's dive on the screen. All right, guys, as you can see, relief checks, at least 20 states are sending cash to their residents this year and more could be coming. In the face of inflation worries, local politicians are trying to get cash to their citizens any way they can. Now, I told you guys, this whole Congress, White House, Senate, they're doing everything they can to make sure that you guys get paid. Of course, we know that Biden, you know, if I could go off and tell you that I don't understand why we're sending goods to our other countries, you know, because they have nothing to do with us. They're not sending us any good. And there was one point that I heard from a video that really made sense. Even though the United States is not buying oil from Russia, China is buying uh, oil from Russia at a discounted price. So why are we sending oil to China? Just a thought. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But yet, back to the article. So there are 20 states that are planning to send out to their bank accounts. And here is a little map shows you states that are sending out checks in 2022. There's at least 20 states that have enacted plans to send cash directly to at least some of their citizens this year, largely to help residents combat inflation. The most aggressive move late came last week when California Governor Newsom signed a budget bill which included a middle class tax refund that would send checks up to $1,050 to qualifying Golden State residents in October. Newsom says nearly 23 million Californians are in line for the fund. Now, we know that they're not the only ones. Maine is sending out $850 stimulus checks, and they're trying to get some out to Hawaii for $300 per person. Colorado Dividend is trying to give out $400 relief rebate, and then Delaware is doing $300 rebate, and Indiana is promising $125 checks. Many of the moves are being pushed by the Democratic politicians, though it's not exclusively them. New Jersey's Democratic Governor Phil Murphy, he signed a bill to mail checks out of $500 for those that live in New Jersey. And then Governor Henry McCaster in Deep Red, South Carolina, plans to send checks up to $800 for his state's residents. And even though we would love for everyone to send big checks, Illinois is sending out tax rebates of $50 
and then Idaho is trying to send out $75 rebates. Yes, guys, I wish that was times 10, times 20, but it seems like some of these states just don't want to give a whole lot of money. Back to the screen. New York, West Virginia have programs to help homeowners in their states. New York is expected to help 2.5 million residents. And again, that doesn't make any sense to me considering the fact that not everybody owns a home. So how can they get relief through this inflation if they don't own a home? Doesn't make any sense. Minnesota providing 750 payments to its frontline workers. And then Maryland is set, is trying to send out $2,000 in assistance. And then you've got Alaska. They're trying to get money out to their citizens. And now you have Massachusetts. We haven't talked about them in a while. You've got Kansas, North Carolina continuing to debate their own proposals for various forms of tax rebates. The programs have been largely made possible by state budgets that are extraordinarily healthy this year thanks to a better than expected tax revenues and leftover coronavirus assistance from Washington, D.C. Virginia governor is trying to send out $250 checks. We know that uh, Illinois is still trying to send out some money. They're struggling to figure out how much to send, but they are sending money. The most recent checks we know that were $1,400 came from the American Rescue Plan that President Biden signed in March 2021. But what they're saying is that it contributed to inflation. And that, my friends, is a very good point in, in question to, to think, hey, what really led up to inflation? Was it, in fact, stimulus checks? Now, many would disagree and say, well, we were in a pandemic. Nobody had jobs. People were laid off. People didn't have money to, to live throughout the week. We were told to stay home. We were told to wear a mask. We were told we couldn't come, you know, so far within each other. There were so many things that we were limited on doing. And, you know, even like my wife, she got laid off of work. And so they were trying, everybody was on employment. Everybody was getting a, a small amount of money. And then Trump happened to double it or something, which was really helpful. But there again, you know, that was a very difficult time because people literally didn't have have jobs didn't have money and everybody was on unemployment because there was no work out there and yet the stimulus checks they helped out keep people afloat if you're like me and you, you know you panicked a little bit I panicked uh, we maxed out all our credit cards and and you talking about a good amount of debt and credit cards just because we didn't know what was about to happen I mean this has never happened before I've never seen it in my lifetime and yet when you go to the grocery store and it's just like everybody's wearing masks and there's limited amount of food and it was just a scary time and if you know what I'm talking about then let me know down in the comments I mean it, it was a scary time it was very you know challenging just because you didn't know what was gonna happen and I think that was what was the bigger issue is not knowing what was going to happen, but I'm, I'm glad that we're out of it. I'm glad that things are better and I'm glad that we ain't wearing them masks no more. Man, those masks drove me crazy. But there again, guys, I hope that this information helped. Remember about all the giveaways that we're doing on this channel. I wanted to bring you the most up-to-date news. This information just came out and I got to make sure I do my job to make sure you stay updated. And on this channel, we tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Guys, you are amazing. I love you. And guys, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you supporting this channel and every comment that you leave. Tell your friends, tell your family that True Life is keeping people updated. We're trying to hit 70,000 subscribers, guys, so let's keep pushing it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. I love you. Be safe. Have a great day. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.